Hey yo, what's going on? Today I hopped on Watch Dogs 2 and I decided, you know what? I'm gonna tell everyone where all the exotic and unique vehicles are in this game. Now, um... In this episode I will be giving everyone a description of the vehicle after I show you where it's at. The spot on the map and I will be going to it directly, so... it. All the unique vehicles, there are a total of, like, five? Uh, six, maybe? I think, yeah, there's like seven... Uh, yeah, there's like seven. Something like that. So, I am going to, uh, show you all where those vehicles are, and... Once you unlock these vehicles, they will be on your... Car on demand forever. Now, I do have them all unlocked, so... I'm just gonna show you the locations, so I obviously know where they're at. Uh, yeah, let's go on with the first location. So the first one's gonna be located in Oakland. It's gonna be right around where the HQ is, just across from it. I think it's actually like right around like here somewhere. Um, this vehicle is called the Mountain King, and and I'll tell you more about it once I actually get over there. Now, when I get here, basically what I would do is I would just fast travel to the hacker space you have over there, to your HQ, and then around here, once you get into this alleyway, you're going to want to look around in the basic general area. You're going to want to look to the right of you and just go up here. then when you make it up here right there is the vehicle now when you get onto the vehicle it's going to show up on the map there's going to be this blue symbol that symbol is going to tell you that there's a unique vehicle in that spot so basically there's two ways you can get this vehicle you can either figure out where this can be open or you can do it the easier way you can just make it go backwards it's going to fall out here you're going to have to chase after it obviously but once you get that out and as soon as you walk, as, so, as soon as you go into the vehicle, pretty much it's going to be on your car on demand forever. Now you just have this vehicle. Okay. Now I have this vehicle on my car on demand. And basically this vehicle is made for off-roading. So it's basically an off-roading vehicle. It's, an, it's a nice vehicle. Doesn't Not too bad acceleration and it doesn't break that easily. So I, I like this vehicle overall. It's just a nice fun little thing. Once you get that first vehicle though, you're going to get a trophy or an achievement and it's just a cool little bonus for getting all the vehicles. Next vehicle is not too far away from where you're at actually. I mean, it's over here at the Port of Oakland. It's called the Wrecker. Now, basically what this car is, it's just a truck that looks kind of cool, kind of old. Now, once you make it here to the Port of Oakland, you're not going to want to go over there or anything, but you're going to want to look to the left of you and look up in the shipping containers. There it is right up here. Now, you are going to need to get the quadcopter for this. So, you're going to pull out your quadcopter to sit here. Well, yeah, just sit here and there it is pull it forward and it's just gonna fall like I said before why am I in this like I said before just get into the vehicle and it will be yours now I forgot what this vehicle actually was like what classification it's under it's just an old style, cool looking vehicle that I actually kind of enjoy, like, riding sometimes. It, sh it just makes you feel like, it just makes you feel just old timesy. And like I said, once you go up to your car on demand, I got the off-road, I got the Mountain King, and this is the... Huh, I think this is actually a muscle car. Yep, right there. It's a muscle car. So that means it'll just be harder to break. And this is just kind of fun to drive sometimes, you know? It's just 
old timey. I, I I like the feel of it. Your next vehicle is actually not that far away. It's called the Hazard, and it's a heavy vehicle. And this is one of my more favorite ones because it has a cool looking thing at it. But all you're gonna want to do is just get right over here into this little island. Just mark right there on that check mark. Okay, now once you made it here, just gonna want to drive down this road. You're gonna want to go all the way around to the side over here. Crash into a couple cars like I am because I'm a bad driver. Just gonna want to pull it back over here. Over by these shipping containers. You want to drive around. Just... Gotta do is just look around here and then you'll find it. There it is. Now, this car, just like the other ones, all you gotta do is just get in and it's forever on there. Just jump past all this stuff around here. And the reason why I love this one is because. The good news for HMP Studio, however, <laughs> is that the hacker exposure has made CyberDriver the surprise hit of the year. Sorry for the news thing, but, um, yeah, um, the reason why I like it, I don't know, it's just it has, like, this cool smoke that comes out. I just think it's a pretty cool thing that they added in the car. It doesn't do anything, it doesn't affect anyone, it's just a nice car. And like I said, it's a heavy vehicle, so it's going to be hard to take down if you get into, like, a police chase or something. And it just has, like, a cool little smoke trail in the back, so... So that's just something that, that, that that's just kind of cool to add on to a car. Now, this next vehicle is called the Ice Cube. And the reason why it's called the Ice Cube, I have no idea. But it is a sports car. So it's going to be around here where that check mark is, obviously. And it's pretty far away from where you're originally at. So if I, if I was you guys, I would try to just find the closest place to teleport, like this kiosk. You're just gonna wanna go down this road right here once you fast travel. Just gonna wanna make your way down over here. I, if I was anyone trying to get this, I would obviously prefer to use a an off-roading motorcycle because you are gonna go off-roading a little bit to get this. Now we are almost there. I wouldn't go down that way. It's just shorter way. I think it's just a one-way road. And then it should be around here somewhere. Now you're gonna have to search around a little bit because not not even I remember like specifically where it's at. So you're gonna have to just like drive around this area a little bit, and then you'll eventually find it. Okay, I found it. And here it is. As soon as you get in, it's a sports car, so it's going to be able to have nice drifting and it's and go decently fast. So overall, I, I don't know. I like this car kind of. I don't. I don't really like the the sound its engine makes. I never really like those sounds, but it's a it's easy to get used to. Next vehicle is the flip wagon. Now this vehicle is a just a regular normal car. It's not a sports car. It's not anything like that. You're gonna see this painted ladies right here. You're gonna go up one to this cube and go left one. So you're gonna be like right here where these two check marks are. Right there. Boom. You'll make it. And since I'm all the way over here, and if you're all the way over there too, I'd I mean, I would just fast travel like right, like right here. Once you've made it, you're not going to need to go far, so just take one of these crappy cars or whatever. What? Alright, I guess, um, actually take the crappy car or whatever. Just do a little U-turn, and then you can just go down where the blue lines are telling you to go. Don't crash into that cop, because if you do, they'll just shoot you on sight. Okay, so... 
Oh man, you're gonna wanna get into here or another way you could get in. You're just gonna wanna look around again. Yeah. Uh Oh, and there it is right here. So it's like a hippie van. It's just uh I don't know, it's just like a cool little thing you can drive around with cool with a cool paint job. It's awesome, in my opinion. It's, it looks cool. It's just like the whole, just whole vibe of this van. It doesn't go that fast, and it's in the, it's in the standard vehicle option. It's an okay car. Acceleration's not too bad. Top speed's not too bad, and it doesn't break that easy. So overall, it's just. A nice medium, nice, nice evenly spread out vehicle. Next up we have the Rainbow Missile, which is the motorcycle. Now, I remember this vehicle, it, it's it's not what you'll expect it to be. So basically, um, go down here to San Meteor or whatever, and right here on top of this house, basically, on this check mark, is where you're going to want to go. So just go down here. It's not too far away from the other one. It's just like a thousand... 2,000 meters, you'll get there in a jiffy. When you're almost there, you're just going to want to keep going up here until you make it to I one of these houses. It's going to be the house that's a, that's a restricted area, so with the red around it. And right there, you're going to have to jump that fence to get to it. Now, you can do whatever. You can, you can just, like, unalive those people. You can just sneak through and grab it real quick so it's in there but right there is the rainbow missile it's like a moped so it's not really a motorcycle but you'll see put that guy to sleep or her to sleep real quick now just let me just like oh okay um it's kind of hard to figure out a way to get out. So basically what I do is I just get off of it. I just like jump the fence. Then I just go over the motorcycle. There it is. There's a couple things I need to explain with this. And there's a reason why this moped is better than the normal moped. Now once it goes fast enough it does a sparkle sound. If you hit the horn honking, it's a horse neighing, like a unicorn. And its booster is red, and it's usually green, so that's just a, that's just a cool little, uh, <laughs> cool little thing that it, that it has, you know, just sparkling gets annoying. Neighing can get annoying if you get, like, three of your friends, and they all just, like, start spamming that. It goes decently fast, I don't know. Like, you wouldn't expect it to go for that fast. The faster you go, the faster the sparkles are. You know, and it's just... It's just, it's kind of hard to rate it, because it's like a choke vehicle, so I don't know really what to do with it. So, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it for the rainbow missile. Now, you know I had to save the best for last. This is going to be the danger zone. And it is going to be the performance car. It's a really good car. So basically you're just going to want to see this thing right here. I'm going to go down here. Right where this check mark is. So if I was you, I don't care how far away you were. I'll, I'll just fast travel here. It's just way easier. Now once you get relatively close, what you're going to want to do, you're going to want to go down here into this parking garage. Now inside... I forgot which one, but one of these has... The danger zone in it, and it's this one right here. So when that's the danger zone, now it's gonna be kind of harder to get to this one than it is the other ones, as you actually have to do stuff to get to it. So you see that box right there? You see that vent right there? So what you're gonna wanna do? You're gonna wanna get in through here with your quadcopter and jump down, usually. But now that you're in here, you're gonna wanna do this. You're gonna wanna control the vehicle until you can hit.
that. Bring it back. Okay. Then you're gonna wanna open that. Okay, and now you're done with that. You're gonna wanna do you're gonna wanna get your jumper. I wanna take it all the way outside. I don't know who the, who kill switch is either. You're gonna wanna take this all the way outside. Jump up here. Go all the way over here. So once you get it up to about here on this wall, just go down a little bit. We can make it here. You just want to go through this vent, and once you make it in, just drop down. There will be. I don't even know what the thing is. What is that? Oh, I think I threw that accent. Whatever. Um, you're gonna want to make it over here. You're gonna want to drop down. Just follow the vents to make it to the room where you just were with the quadcopter. Now you're gonna want to. Unlock this. Then once you do that, you have gained access to the doors. Now right here you have the danger zone, possibly the fastest car in the entire game. There's a whole bunch of things I need to say about this car. And first of all, yes, it is a very fast car. Probably the fastest car in the game, if not one of the fastest cars in the game. It's very nice because you can get it for free. You don't need to worry about spending any money for it. Then you'll forever have it over here. Has great acceleration as well, but the bad part about it, like with everything, it's, it's con, is the fact that it breaks very easily. Just a couple hits against something couple crashes on your sides and then you're just done for it's just gonna be completely broken you cannot drive it but it has great acceleration has great 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 top speed it's drifting is okay if you're going at slow speeds once you go at fast speeds it's drift it's drifting can be meh it's overall like turning speed it doesn't really turn that fast but like right there it's already smoking you gotta go easy on it if I just hit like one more thing and then it's just gonna break like right here there you go it's already broken but at that point you can just call in a new one and you'll be set so basically those were all of the uh, unique vehicles in Watch Dogs 2 that you can unlock what, remember once you unlock your first one you do get a trophy I forgot if it was like bronze, gold, silver I mean I unlocked all the trophies for this game so I don't know so basically you have a unique vehicle my god you have a unique vehicle for just about every single uh, thing on here so yeah that's uh, pretty much it um peace